with you live on your chin. Oh, kid. Oh. <laughs> this is the Going Deep Show. What's twisting this bitch's tip? Stop, faggot. I'll eat your ass. I will eat your ass. What an asshole. You're speaking my language. Fuck, 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 fuck you. Fighting for the powers of evil. Good dumb go deep show. Ha 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 ha. The kid. It's also Mr. Clean. What's up, brother? Unbutton your pants. Sit oh. back. I thought Reach I down the front. I thought I did. You're going deep. Reach down. Lean the seat back. Reach to see my legs. <laughs> What's that song, Clean? Name it. Oh, God. It's a Van Halen. Oh, hot for teacher. I was wrong one time. Just, yeah, I'm wrong. Like I told you we both. Yeah. yeah! Today's episode of the Going Deep Show is brought to you by nothing because we don't do that shit, okay? Celibacy sucks. <laughs> it's for assholes. We don't do sponsorships. We don't do advertising. We but, don't do any of this baloney. But we do okay? anal ships on ladies. What I've come to the conclusion of, we have some very loyal people who tune into us and listen to us, okay? And I think the reason is it's free. They don't want to hear what we have to say. They we become a part of their life, you know. Over the course of the last eighteen years doing this bullshit, you can't help it but be like, "I wonder if those guys are still around." And then they look us up and they're like, "Oh my god, look at all this shit!" And then they they become, you know, they they get reacquainted with us and stuff like this. I see the numbers. I know people from Guatemala listen to me. If they, wait, there, do they have there, an internet connection there, in Guatemala? Here, here's a question for Moonlight. If Moonlight, if you're listening, Moonlight, yes. like 20 years from now, yeah, when our kids take over, oh, Jesus, are you still going to be listening? You're going to tune in? It's going to be a woman's agenda. It's going to be all girls, agenda. all girls agenda. Twisted woman's agenda, though. They've got our twisted G- DNA. No, I think what we need to do is write down the manifesto of the Going Deep Show. Okay, they have to have one dude at least on with them. It's very the similar to the manifesto of like ACDC. Okay. They don't have every ACDC song. I, I should love. I want to bring up examples of this because every goddamn ACDC song is just ding, 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 ding. devil tits, devil tits, sex and dick, balls and dick. <laughs> That's yeah. all in every song. Every ACDC yeah. Yeah. song. But I still love ACDC. Is, exactly. Still love, That's exactly. why people love us because you, know, you know exactly what to expect. You know what you get. Ding, 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 ding. Titties, titties, devil, devil. Right. And our daughters would be talking about, you know, pegging their boyfriends. Oh, they'll, they'll have their boyfriends. Jesus on. Christ. You know what I mean? None of these boyfriends they have any fucking <laughs> sack or juias whatsoever. Okay. Sack of juia. That's a good word. I love that word. You ever, you ever been called out for, for you know, not having your, like, your, your balls are in her purse? Endo's been trying to use this one on me lately because... Uh, the, she has some type of a beef with with uh, red oh, sometimes. Yeah, I've, you know? I've got called out by that quite a few times well, by someone sitting across the room from me. <laughs> well, yeah, it, that's true. It's true. Have you and, ever? And not well. No, no. I was just talking about somebody I else. I was talking I about somebody else. Somebody else. <laughs> oh, not, not me. It's somebody else. I th- if if yeah, if there's anything that Clean needs to take from this <laughs> is the fact that I'm not I'm not doing this to like make him feel any less. I'm using this to empower him. And I'm empowered, baby. Clean. You need to be empowered. My my trans okay. rights are empowered. I'm going to female powerlifting. It's not trans on. rights. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting some breast implants. I'm going to female powerlifting. What I'm thinking is clean. You you look at it as like kid is mad at me and he didn't. He was calling me out for being a big baby because my girl's got my balls. <laughs> no, that wasn't the, the the point of that. If you re- boil it right down to what the bare bones of it is, you realize I was fucking unhappy as shit. Yeah. The, the, what, I, I when, you, when you told me it was, we don't have to do this. We can take I'm off clean. right now. <laughs> like that was fucking awesome. Tell everybody we're talking about. Yeah, it was funny. It was like prior to the marriage. Like I, uh, I don't know. Did we do a podcast prior? I think we might have. We should go back and listen to those shows. I can't remember. I honestly can't. Probably not. But I can't remember. But yeah, I think I think you said that to me. Like, let's go. Oh, I'm like back. clean. We don't need to do this. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I did. I was like, clean. Don't do it. I, and. 
Yeah. You didn't. You, you didn't yeah, learn. You I, did it. I, you went through with it. I was fucking close. Yeah. I really considered it for a couple minutes. We I really good, did. We went and had a good dinner afterwards, and I was yeah. like, okay. Yeah, it was. But once, it, I think we played a clip of Spider Man the other day. Remember Spider Man telling everybody how you know the marriage thing benefits the women all 100 percent without anything. Right, that's true. I have. I let me pull. I think I'm going to pull up another clip. Not right now in this episode, <laughs> but down there. But I want you to be be. Very clear on this. I didn't say this because of any angst or hatred towards you. Oh, no, it was no. it was all in protection. It was like right, brother mode. Right, it was right, exactly. It was very much like clean. I should have listened. Be a man. You can be a man and still uh, be with a woman. Sorry. You can still. In, in I've fact, done that in a while. I think many women like it when you are a man and you take control and do that kind of shit. No, no. You ever watch? Uh, remember the Hangover? The first Hangover. Yeah, oh, yeah, I do. When when they pull up to the house when they're picking up the fucking dentist. What what is what is the Bradley Cooper yelling? Paging Dr. Faggot. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Faggot. And the woman, the wife in the in the, in the the show, who is the doctor from Lucifer, by the way. Oh, yeah, she is. She is. She's the doctor oh, from Lucifer. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. She uh, She's like, hello, Dr. Faggot. Are you, your friends are here, Dr. Faggot. She's like calling him up and masculate the guy. I, this, this to me is like, no. I'm not going to do this. Then I saw he fucks my, Jennifer Graham. That's way better. I saw my mother attempt to do this with my dad, and the whole time she's doing it, it just makes her look like a fucking putz. It just makes her look like a fucking dipshit because it's this. It's, she's overcompensating for the the her lack of a penis. Oh, <laughs> pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, I don't, to me, to, to me, anyone who calls me out about those type of things, I'm just like, I, you have to do Luke Skywalker in the in the latest Star Wars and just uh, okay. Just brush it. You just yeah. brush it yeah. away. Just keep talking. I'll fuck your keep sister. Talking. The second that you, the second that you let it bother you, and you publicly make that an outrageous thing, then that becomes it's something that's obviously that it bothers you and things like this. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some things that definitely bother me, and I will make it very aware. If somebody disrespects me in front of my kid, I will fucking stick my goddamn elbow down your fucking throat. Who the elbow? I don't give a shit. I will not fuck the rocket pop to the blue. Okay, I'm talking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I will fucking put the fear of God. Every time I watch Lucifer, I'm waiting for the next time he's he turns his eyes red. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm like that, my friends. It would, it's yeah. me. <laughs> would, would be an, would be a cool power because people know you're pissed off at that point. I can be a mean one, Mister Grinch. Yes, I can. <laughs> I don't like to do that. I'm not saying that's something I veer towards, but if there's even an inkling of the of, a, of an opportunity for me to fucking really show somebody how much of a fucking prick and an asshole I can be, is to put somebody in their place. If I see somebody overstepping, I will fucking way overstep. I will in, in this. Yeah, it, you know, right? I completely Yo, agree. buddy. You know, but the thing is, you can't like you, it, it, I, we're constantly preaching against all these little pussies that can't handle shit. So. My tolerance for a lot of things is very, very high. It has to be. Because you can't go preaching against all of these little whiny, cranny babies and then have a one tolerance. little... and one little, one You little, can't be an LT. One little prick of something. One little pricky. One little... Oh, one little, one little oops. And then it sends you off into a fucking tizzy. You just can't do that. So, anywho, I, I want to really bring up this story, this first story that we have here on our show. Colorado school board fires head coach over... Tortilla incident. Oh, man. I can't remember the last time I had a tortilla incident. Mm, I know. So here's the story goes. They, they have, there's a, a school that's playing up against a bunch of uh, the Hispanics, Mexicans. And at one point during the, uh, the, the athletic event, they get the one the, the opposing team to the Mexicans starts tossing tortillas out onto the court. Uh, it's nice. like a basketball game, I think it is. <laughs> Uh, let me read this here. It's in Colorado. Unified School Board uh, unanimously uh, voted unanimously to fire the head coach, of uh, uh, the basketball coach, uh, after tortillas, <laughs> after they threw tortillas at an opposing team. <laughs> okay. So it's like his team did it? Or like it must have been well, the team, not the fans. Well, no, I think it. Is. I don't think it was the team. I mean, can you can you imagine how <laughs> this fucking like tortillas is fire them across? <laughs> Frisbees. I'm offended though, clean. I know. First of all, how can something so delicious be used as some type of an offensive thing? Right. That's the first thing. That's I'm a thinking. waste. That's. I mean, God damn. You know how many tortillas, tor- Taco Bell sells in a fucking year? Jesus Christ! I would love to that not know that number. I would love to know that number. I would like to eat them all. Calls for punishment of those involved in the tortilla throwing incident crescended throughout the day. 
after a Saturday night division championship game between Coronado, Cor- uh, Coronado, Corona, I thought it was Coronado. Coronado, it's out in San Francisco, so that's why the Hispanic thing is is, uh, is an issue here. So it's between Coronado High and Orange Glen High, a high school in Escondido. At least two people threw tortillas at Orange Glen. So two two whole people. Two whole people. I sure hope they had and more the people. the coach got t- fired for that. Yeah, because two that people decided to throw shit. some goddamn tortillas. Fuck. As that's what Red, Red's mom would say. So the follow-up to this is man who th- brought tortillas to Coronado game <laughs> apologizes. So this, this, he, first of all, he looks Mexican. What's his, I'm going to guess, I'm going to take a stab. A mexican Okay. Let me zoom in on this Sanchez. goddamn thing so I can fucking read his name. Cer- Cerna. Cerna. Luke Cerna said he did not mean to be racially insensitive. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Race, okay. <laughs> Did not mean it. But what? I mean, to, come on. A man who brought tortillas to a, uh, <laughs> to a basketball game against Escondido, Escondido Orange Glen Heights issued a public apology, Wait. saying he realized the act of throwing tortillas has been perceived as racially insensitive. Well, let me guess. Now, he was the coach. He had to be the coach throwing tortillas. Well, here's the thing about it. <sighs> I'm I'm on, I'm I'm straddling both sides of this issue. No, they like is, he, is oh. you waste them because they're burner fried. You know, and you fry them on the burner. That's I fucking love them delicious. On the burner. Oh fuck yeah, that's legit, fuck, that's, man. That's grand style, baby. I'll eat those just like that, man. Yep. Just, yep. I don't even put it in a pan. Fuck that shit, man. Put some free fried when, beans yeah. on it and fucking when my when, when my non-German side shows it's definitely when I put it in a pan, but I throw it right on the fryer. So here's the thing. I, I, I straddle the line on this because I I don't want people to be oversensitive to this. This is not my my father. I've seen him dress up for Halloween as a Mexican. He is a Mexican. He will put the sombrero on and the poncho and he'll do the whole thing and he'll put the big old mustachio on. Okay. Do you yeah, think do you yeah. think he's offended by this? No, he's no, he's, he's embracing my, it. It's people need to lighten the fuck up. Right, exactly. If something you see that you associate with pisses you off, it's a self control thing. You can't you sit there and try to curb the entire planet's fucking mentality on anything. You can only curb your own. You can only control yourself. To me, I don't give I, I I'm leaning towards not giving a flying fuck the two people at a basketball game, which I hope had more than just two, four or eight people there. Right. Started tossing t- tortillas. Now, <laughs> if, now it was, if, it, if it was the coach, if that guy's the coach <laughs> and he's tossing tortillas, I can understand yeah. then his ass getting fired. But if his fans doing it, I'm like, ah, yeah. how do you control your fans, man? How do you yeah. say, don't, don't toss tortillas before the game? To me, honestly, I don't think the coach should be fucking fired for That'd this. That'd be like, too. don't don't throw squid on the fucking hockey game. You know, I throw the fucking squid out there. I seriously this. don't think that the coach should be like let go for this. Is. His quote, I said, uh, I realize the tortilla throwing has been perceived as racially insensitive. I do not condone racially insensitive behavior. And that was not my intent. I apologize to all who were hurt by this. Oh, And I hope it. it can be a teaching moment for us all to become more The conscious. coach did do it. So no, that's not no? the coach. That's oh. the, I don't think that's the coach. I that's if that's the, the, no, that's oh. not the coach. So this guy, that'd be much. Here's the thing: people have to realize that there are differences in all races and in, in, in all people in general, and to try to be insensitive to each and every one of those people is is it, it's an you cannot do that it, it's you know, just an impossible task to the, try the whole to do thing, that. i'm so sick and tired of race in general okay people are people assholes are assholes. people are people well, they are, seriously. Should it be? what's what's the difference it's it, it, there's assholes in every fucking race creed color religion <sighs> fucking sex everything it's dastardly yeah Dastardly deed, Throw tortillas dude. and oh, fuck. Would it be okay if they're throwing pizzas at, at the Italians? Yeah, there you go. Every no, time that's, that's insensitive. Animal. Well, it, it should be insensitive to that endo. That every time she swings at me, she pretends she hits me in the face, and she goes whop. And I go, why are you bringing the Italians into this? Whop, whop, whop. Isn't that a derogatory term towards the Italianos? It it, it is now, but uh, it originally stood for without without papers. It mm-hmm. stood for all of us mm-hmm. ing- immigrants. I need to, I need to Justin switch. Verlander. Yes, I know. I need to switch over to this his brother. Cam- his need, brother. I'm, I'm switching over to the camera right here it's because his brother. It's his brother. It's his stepbrother or brother. What the fuck are you talking about? Mm-hmm. Justin Verlander. Okay. Why? Because this guy kind of looks like him. That you're gonna bring this guy. 
The clean. Yeah. This, this is guy. another one of Mr. Clean's wonderful transitional moments. Mr. Clean, it's, drink up, everybody. Mr. Clean's go. awesome transition there. Well, you, I think you're going you, you, to bring I it know, up. I know, and I'm going to, but you did. I you know. jumped ahead again. I know. Clean always does this. He's like, it's funny. I look clean at is a squirrel. I look clean, at him. No, no, no look Clean isn't him. even a squirrel. He's a dog looking at a squirrel. Oh, yes. He's like, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. If anybody right now, I'm not even going to bring. I'm not going to bring this story up right now. Nope, I'm not even going to bring the story up. Squirrel. Because I want people to guess. I want people to wonder and awe and amazement. What the fuck were we even talking about? That's going to be the new game show here that Mr. Clean is... Mr. Clean's new game show is what, what the, the fuck, fuck was Mr. Clean talking, talking about? Because right now, all you said was <laughs> Justin Verlander, this guy looks like him. Everybody, there's your clue. Be on the lookout in be future lookout. episodes when we describe what the hell Mr. Clean was talking about. Did, you did you understand what, what the problem is there? Oh, yeah, completely. That's why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you would have just read the headline out loud, oh. clean. Well, I can if you want me to. If you, you know, like, <laughs> I want you to do that more than just going. Does he Verlander? He looks like him. <laughs> he does. He kind of does. I know, but you got to give some people some kind of context uh, so they know what the uh, fuck you're talking about. He's he's a honky. He looks like Justin Verlander. We all look the same. Everybody, Mr. Clean, you get horny sometimes, right? Once a blue moon. Do you ever get so horned up though that you start jacking it in your car? I have. I'm, I have. Before. Really? I have before. No. Yowza. Yeah. Yikesy. Yeah. Manikesy. Woo. Hey, you don't say that. Yeah. I, okay. I drive back, you know, down southern state of Michigan, you know, and driving back. And did you ever, the ever moment hit me? Did you ever get so messed up horn dogginess that you start to bring people over to your car and be like, hey, come here for a second. Can you give me directions to where this load's going to go? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Well, that's a brilliant idea. I'm going to bring this up on screen now for you guys. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, uh, there we go. This is what Mr. Clean's talking about. If you guys are joining us on YouTube, youtube.com slash going deep, do this now because it's going away. The next story we have coming up oh, here in the next episode is going to tell you why our store, why our, why our brand of things that make us laugh is not for everybody. It, and it's definitely not for YouTube, Facebook, social media, all of these things. We're going away, people. Okay. It's just a matter of time. We know this. Clean, you know this. I know this. Everybody should know this who here tunes into this program. Because we say whatever the hell we want. We're talking about Mexicans and tortilla drawing. We're talking about Justin Verlander's twin brother fucking jerking off in front of people. We got the whole thing going here. Yeah, I'm telling you. So here's the story with this now, Clean. And there, how worked up do you got to be to, to, to do what, you're, what I'm about to describe? <laughs> Not in a million lifetimes. Perverted driver asks children from for directions while carrying... I like how the headlines is carrying out... Sexual acts. Clean, you ever carried out sexual acts before? Yeah, not in front of children or anywhere thinking of children. Yeah, that would not be a good situation, carrying out sexual acts in front of a child ran. No. A sick driver called out two children and a teenager to ask for directions, only for them to see him carrying out a sexual act. Now, the sexual act, is the, there's a link to it. I, I'm not even going to click it because it could be. He's licking popsicles. He's over there jaggedy, jiggedy jacking his oh, meat, his you, man meat. You did click this. No, <laughs> I, just, I read down <laughs> early later. Dude, that's the worst scene of the guy jack. I don't even like to jack when I'm done on, the, on Endo's butt. No, I, mean, I pull out like, and I, okay. just, I finish on her butt I, and I'm I, sitting I, there people jacking. You can see this right now, okay? Look at yeah. There's your scan down. They got a picture of this cute little kid there, you know, right underneath <laughs> the story. How fucked up was that? <laughs> I, I'll call, I feel like that. Yeah, that's fucked up. And this guy who looks like Al Gore here, too. Who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, oh. Anyway, Justin Verlander's uh, twin brother here. He got caught jacking. <laughs> you just do not want to do that. Okay, guys? If you're going to jack, jack in your privacy of your own home. Hell, he should just sit up Kate Upton. They broke up, right? So he what? Should, they, they don't know it's Giselle Button or whatever. Yeah. Giselle Button or whatever. Gis- Tom Brady. Giselle Button? <laughs> what the hell's her name? Button or the... Did they really break up? No, somebody broke up. Well, didn't Justin Verland bang Kate Upton for a while? Dude, he's married to her. Okay, well, yeah. Well, then he should fucking bang her. The caller up said... Convince her, convince her, hey, you want to bang your, you want to bang your younger brother, his younger brother. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm confusing, confusing him and Tom Brady, because I think Tom Brady dated Kate Upton before Justin Verlander. This is my favorite part where Clean goes off on tangents. Kate Upton, up, 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 up and away. You ever watch the movie Up? They're like Disney. Disney yeah, is made. Yeah. Disney owns part of Steve Jobs owns Disney. Disney Jobs owns. And they have a dog that's a squirrel in it. Oh my God! It's a squirrel, 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 squirrel. The tangent line of Mr. Clean's braid is like, I, I really want, I want to know what's going on up there. Hey, I just want to bang Kate Upton. Who does it? Who doesn't? This bouncy, he's got bouncies. Goddamn right. Let's do final words, and, man. And you can have fun doing it too. Kate Upton would be a lot of fun. I, 
What do you think? Yeah. Hey, you don't say that. <laughs> I'm a kid. This is Going Deep Show. Tune in. Hit the GDS.com. Have some fun. Do it all. We promise nothing and deliver 20 minutes to kill your day. Well, every day a week, seven days. We'll see you soon. Chill to the next one.